October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and we are teamed up with the MedStar Health Cancer Network today, answering your calls about breast health. And I'm joined now by Dr. Masha Mohabtas, a medical oncologist and chief of medical oncology and hematology at MedStar Union Memorial Hospital. Doctor, thanks so much for coming in. Sure. We're talking about advances in vaccines and technology and treatment. You typically think of a vaccine for like a flu shot, mm -hmm. not for prevention of cancer, though. So there are some cancers that could be prevented by prevention of certain infections, like you know HPV vaccine um, can prevent cervical cancer or hepatitis B vaccine can prevent liver cancer. But when you are talking about cancer vaccines, mm -hmm. uh, which are being investigated, we are mainly thinking about therapeutic vaccines which will prevent cancer recurrence or cancer progression in people who have already been diagnosed with cancer. Hopefully in the future, we will have vaccines to prevent cancer in people who never had cancer. And segue to the research that you're doing with your vaccine. Tell us a little bit about that. So we are participating in one of the participating sites in a, a therapeutic vaccine for breast cancers, which express HER2. HER2 is a protein which is expressed on some breast cancers. Mm -hmm. This vaccine targets that protein and is developed to stimulate body's own immune system to fight cancer. So uh, people who are at high risk for cancer recurrence, who already have cancer and their cancer is high risk, and their tumor expresses this hormone, then they can be eligible to participate. Okay, so when will it be available? Because I'm sure, you know, people are hearing this and right. looking at op actually our operators taking calls next door in the studio, taking your calls about breast health. But when would a vaccine like this be available? So it will not be available for everyone to use until the study shows there is a clear benefit. Mm -hmm. So it's a randomized study, meaning that uh, people have 50% chance of getting the vaccine, 50% chance of getting the placebo. The participants will be followed over the course of a couple of years. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it is clear it's beneficial and it can prevent cancer recurrence, it can be available for everyone. That is amazing. Yes, it is. Did you ever think that we'd be close to something like this? You know, not maybe 20 years ago, but now the more we go, immunotherapy and stimulating the body's own immune system makes more sense, mm -hmm. you know, to prevent cancer and cancer recurrence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell me, um, Who's the candidate? I mean, can anyone participate in the trial or is the trial already ongoing? So it's already ongoing and people who have had cancer whose tumor express HER2 and their tumor based on stage and, diff and you know, certain characteristics are at high risk for recurrence, they can be screened mm -hmm. and they can be eligible to participate. What about people with the BRCA gene? You hear so much about that. So, you know, BRCA gene, it puts you at higher risk to develop breast cancer, but it can be many different types of breast cancers. There are also certain studies, you know, for BRCA positive patients that they can participate. There are certain, you know, new developments of drugs and therapeutics for them as well. So, Doctor, when you're doing research like this, this kind of goes into the whole clinical trials, why that is so important. It is so important because, you know, you enroll in a clinical trial, you have the opportunity to get the treatment of future now. Mm -hmm. And then when you think about all these new developments in cancer, it's because of all the patients who participated many years ago mm -hmm. in clinical trials. Now other people are benefiting and many of them, they benefited themselves. Mm -hmm. And this is it's safe as well. Exactly. You know, it has gone through lots of, you know, um, screening through FDA, through IRB, uh, and it goes through different stages of development. In early stages, you, are, you start very slow and you look at the side effects more closely. And uh, the more we are sure about the safety, we progress to different stages of development. All right, Dr. Yeah. Mohaptash, thank you so much for sure. coming in.